need to use them, that's where they are. Thank you very much. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are gathered here this afternoon in this Eucharistic celebration to celebrate one of us who has gone before us to heaven. Ours is to pray that the good Lord may receive his soul and rest in eternal peace. We pray for his family. We pray for his friends whom he worked with, being a father, being a grandfather, a husband and a friend, 
to many. He has gone before us. That is something which nobody knows when it will knock the door. What is very important as a human being and as a Christian, as I believe all of you are Christians here, and if you are not a Christian, you believe that God is there, is to live a life pleasing to God. And to live a life pleasing to God is to live well with your neighbors, your family members, your workmates and friends. Be a peaceful person as we follow and as I recall the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi who said that make me an instrument of peace. May his death brought bring unity in the family, bring unity in the society and bring unity with the people whom he was working with. With those my brothers and sisters, we know that we are all in a, we are all in a journey in this world. Nobody knows when God will call us. When we wrong our brothers and sisters knowingly and unknowingly, we are from the God, our Creator. Therefore, let us acknowledge our shortcomings and ask God for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed through my fault, through my fault, through my most serious fault. Therefore, as blessed Mary, you are all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, Captain John Nguki, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he who hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. We make our prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please get started. And uh, those who are going to lead us with the readings of today, to come forward, please. And those who are still coming in, ask us, show them the place where they can sit, please. Karibu san. A reading. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered, Oh, that my words were written. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and reed, they were graven in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God, for whom I shall, I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold and not another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Na 
kikombe, changu kikombe, changu ki inafurika. prepared for you from the foundation of the world. the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate them one from the other, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the courts. And he will place the sheep at his right hand, but the courts at his left. That the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was angry, you gave me food. I was thirst, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the Russians will answer him, Lord, when did we see you angry and fed you, or thirst and give you a drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothed you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly, truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, Depart from me, you, you cast into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was angry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me, naked, and you did not clothe me, sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then. 